welcome to another installment of the Fragments of Silicon Reviews. Uh, four reviews up this week, the first of which is Vectors. Um, avoid obstacles and, and reach the end of each level by controlling the direction of Vectors. Can you manage your actions without going off the tangent? Like, okay, so... That doesn't really tell you what Vectors is. And that is, Vectors is a puzzle game. Um, even then, it's not that much of a puzzle game. I suppose I should get, get a bit more in-depth in the mechanics of Vectors here. Um, you know, uh, you could... You know... <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, throat got a bit froggy there. Anyway, uh, vectors, yeah, you control the vector, i.e. the line, and you have to navigate it through the space um, to the end. And that's the basics. Um, the refined mechanics are something that's not really conveyed when you're playing the game because it can be hard to say it can be hard to see because uh petty could not get uh, the live footage working for this game unfortunately but you know uh when you're guiding the arrow um it's I guess the best way to put it is simulating velocity. Um, that is, you get a choice of how many squares you get to move. And, you know, you can jump like one square, two squares, you know, three squares, and you can move a bit um, within the columns or the rows, depending on what's available. And, the real trick, the real mastery comes not from getting to the end. Because if you play conservatively, you like just move space, maybe two spaces each time, you'll get to the end. Like, that's not the challenge. The challenge lies in getting um, the three stars in each level. Um, and that's uh, that's obtained by getting a certain, you know, making what I assume is maybe not the fewest moves in a uh, board, but, you know, less moves than it would take by playing conservatively. You know, like par. So the course. challenge becomes doing that. Yeah. So the challenge uh, becomes. Um, pairing that against the simulated velocity, because you know if you move three stars, then you know it'll have you go. Uh, sorry, three spaces. It'll have you going another three spaces or so. Um, so there's a minimum speed that, that your next. Way. So there's a minimum speed that your next move can be, as well as a maximum, based on your current speed. I. Uh, Yes, more or less. Um, and it's and also like, how sharp you can turn, probably. That's wh you know that's where the nexus of challenge comes into place because it's in the cornering <sighs> where you're like if you're not moving at the right amount of speed, you're going to run into trouble. Like because like if you're going the th if you're going the the three spaces per move you're not going to be able to bank on the corner. And thus, you're, you're off the tangent, as the descriptor explained. And that means you fail the board. So that's where the interplay of challenge lies. And You also problem, can't cut yeah. off the board, like try and hop a part of it. Once you leave the immediate play yeah, area, so your ball blows up. Yeah all, yeah, all the maneuvers have to be congruent with the grid. 
Like, if it isn't, you will shatter, pixelate, de-res, whatever's going on. Um, and once again, you will have to, to pick up and try again. Mm-hmm. And, you know, really, that is really the only interesting part of this game. Because it's the only part that's actually challenging. You know, like I said, playing this conservatively, you'll do it. It's just not very exciting, not, uh, you know, because there's no actual challenge or strategy to, you know, slowly moving across the board. Um, and also, you know, some of the later boards, they get twisty, turny, tricky. And if you're still doing that, you know, it's not interesting. You know, so it's kind of a weird paradigm where, you know, the amount of fun you'll get out of vectors is what you put into it. Um, or rather to say, in order to make this game actually exciting, you do have to play risky. At least that's my estimation of things. Like, if you're someone who, I don't know, likes that methodical pace and, you know, you know a guaranteed win, um, I, I guess, go nuts. Outside of that, uh, there really isn't much to talk about. Um, as you can see from the um, screenshots, at the very least, that, you know, this game is about as minimalistic as it can get. You know, one would say utilitarian. It definitely um, feels like it was at least at one point a game game project. It doesn't even really have... Minimalistic kind of describes a style that this doesn't seem to even have. So yeah, utilitarian. It's... it's... Well, I'd say almost, because, you know, the style the creativity is in the boards themselves. Like, you know, you, uh, you got that one picture of what appears to be, um, yeah, there's, God, there's uh, I know there's like a guy one? dabbing there's Sans's face. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it's like the, uh, the figure eight that, you know, that's where the, the creativity lied in the actual board construction. I just mean the, you know, the like, appearance. There's, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The overall aesthetics is... I, I don't think... I think the best way to put it is... Very dull. Mm-hmm. Like, this is... Like, even in terms of minimalism, this isn't very interesting. Yeah, it doesn't even have the style of trying to be minimalistic. It just looks like they put the absolute minimum... Yeah, that, that's uh, why I think it... Necessary it, effort into making everything be discernible. Yeah, that's why I feel like it might be might have at least started as a game jam project. Mm-hmm. It's possible. We haven't uh, talked to the devs uh, on this one, so we know, don't know like, for sure on that. This is purely conjecture on my part. Right. I'm like, and um, there's about thirty boards. Um, I got about halfway through this game before I got so bored I. Um, just moved on to other things. Mm. Is it, this game isn't bad. It's just... It's not very interesting. Mm. You know, it's... Like, oh, this game wishes it had a quarter of the style of Intelligent Cube, Mr. Sargent. <laughs> <laughs> like... We all wish we all wish we had the quarter of a style of intelligent cube. Now, um, like I said, th- there's just not much to this one. It mm-hmm. you know it's marginally more interesting than I thought it would be going into it, just because you know once again, the game looks very very bland. 
And honestly, unless you're playing for mastery, it, it plays very bland. Mm -hmm. Well, and even yeah. if you're like trying to grind it out for mastery, you're definitely going to need at least some kind of background music or like something other to like really occupy your attention and will you kind of just chisel away at, you know, finding your routes in this if you want to like speed yes. run or whatever. Well, the game has background music. It's just, it's, I mean, it does, but at the same time, you're probably going to want it, something else. Maybe, but, uh, you know, like, the background music is very elevator relaxation. Yeah. Um, there's, like, perfectly no descript. So, you know, once again... This game could uh, very functionally act as a sleep aid for certain people. Hi, hello. I'm one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, um, in terms of pricing, uh, well, the game is very, very affordable. You know, it clocks in at a dollar, which, you know, it's like even if this isn't your cup of tea, you know, we're, we're in the as I've said before, cup of coffee range. Like, I've literally gotten cups of coffee that are more expensive than this game at full price, no less. So, you know, once again, the, the, there's nothing wrong with this game. It's just terminally turgid. You know, it's not a bad game, but it is, in most respects, a boring game. And, one, you know, there are some that may claim that's worse. Um, given the amount of games we've covered over the years, I will say that is emphatically not the case. You know, th this is a game that didn't want me to throw controllers against the wall because it's, it didn't work right. It's just... It's much less interesting to talk about in a review. So it goes sometimes. Uh, right. Do you two have anything further to add to, to these proceedings? Not really. I'm good. All right. So, yeah, I'll about do it for Vectors here. Be sure to tune in after the break as Petty will be reviewing Kill It With Fire. 